I raised my first puppy my senior year with my mom um, and then last year she got a new puppy so I helped out with him and then I got him over the summer. During the day, um, his training is really just him going to class with me and kind of walking out and about, going to the library, going to the grocery store with me. Um, I wake up in the morning, I feed him. In class, I usually bring a toy for him to chew on because he's only seven months old right now. Um, so we can still get distracted by things. Send this down. down. The process for getting him to be able to live in the dorms was very difficult. I was told no three or four times. I had to use the law because he's allowed to go anywhere a service animal is allowed to go, um, basically where I'm allowed to go, and that he's allowed to live in the dorms because he has all the rights of a service animal. Um, and so I had to kind of go back and forth, work with the university on this, but finally we saw eye to eye and <laughs> it all worked out. A lot of people don't realize that you're not supposed to pet a service animal or distract a service animal, so on campus I've had to educate a lot of students um, and tell them nicely that, you know, I know you want to pet him, but he's actually working now and I would appreciate it if you um, do not pet him or distract him. Um, some students are kind of annoyed by that, I guess. Um, but most are really nice about it and they're like, oh my god, I didn't know, I totally forgot or, you know, I'm happy to help educate and help other people understand that you're not supposed to pet a service animal. At least he's in training, but when they're actually working, you really should not ever pet one. <laughs> they're doing a job. Ah, ah, somebody. Okay. He has a lot of strict rules in raising him. There's a lot of commands um, that I have to ah, ah, teach him, I guess. Um, and some have different meanings, like heel when I walk my regular dog would mean to like slow down, but heel with the service animal in training is a totally different command. Um, and they're not allowed on the couch, they're not allowed to nip at all, um, jumping isn't allowed, there's a lot of toys they're not allowed to play with, um, but they're allowed to go everywhere with me and they still get to meet puppies and have fun when I take off their vests at the end of the day. I'd say it's a win-win situation in raising a service animal. Um, you get to help someone in this amazing way um, and allow them to have the freedom that we always have. But I also get to have this really cute puppy and raise him and hang with him and train him and I think that's really awesome. It's a two-way street.